Hey guys, what's up? This is Dory1017, aka Naturally Hope. Just coming at you with a style recreation that I did um, by Filthy Rich Tresses. She is on Instagram as well as YouTube. And I saw this style and I knew that I, right away that I could do it because it's so simple. Um, first thing I did was split my hair down the middle towards the back of my head. And then I split that hair into four sections so that way I could go ahead and moisturize it. I used a lot of, lot of body moisturize me curl and style milk and I went ahead and moisturized my section um, I split the section in two and then once I moisturized it with the milk I went ahead and sealed it with the Eden Body Works coconut shea natural hair oil I did already moisturize the my other sections that's why they're all twisted up once I got done moisturizing every section I went ahead and detangled just so that way I could, you know, take out any knots or anything just so my braiding could be smoother. And then once I got done with that, I just detangled the entire section just as a reinforcement so that way I know that I'm going to get some smooth braiding because I was in a rush and I needed everything to go smoothly and it did. So I am now braiding my hair back. I already did the other side. I'm braiding it into a cornrow all the way to the back of my head where um, the part ended. Now to go ahead and make the braid a little bit smoother just to lay down any flyaways I'm using the Ampro Pro Style Protein Styling Gel from back in the day because that's the gel that everybody used to use so um, I'm taking that and I'm going ahead and placing it around the braid now I'm spraying my hair with that Garnier Fruit Teeth um, Styling Spray just to give it a little bit of shine and then for the rest of my head, I'm going to moisturize with the Lot of Body Milk and seal with that um, Eden Body Works oil all over the rest of my head. And then I'm going to smooth my hair with that milk again for my ponytail and then seal with the oil as well. Um, and that's for the, my edges in the front and for my nape. Please excuse my voice guys, I am a little bit hoarse. The past few weeks have just been crazy and I was I got a little sick so my voice is a little bit lower and kind of scratchy and um, rusty. Uh, so please excuse me. So now I'm just smoothing it in to a ponytail. Now I'm splitting the ponytail in two and putting two braids in it so that way it can be easier for me to put into my little struggle bun before I put my um, drawstring ponytail on. Once I got done with that, I went ahead and took another scrunchie. This is a scrunchie by Goody. Pretty thick, very durable, and I just wrapped it around and put it in a little bun. Now I'm taking the Ampro Pro Style Protein Styling Gel and I'm just going to slap it all over my head to smooth everything down. I got every spot, every section in the back, in the front, and once I got done with that, I went ahead in with my toothbrush and just, you know, kind of shaped my edges the way that I wanted them to look. And that'll come later on after I'm done smoothing the gel down um, as much as I want.
Once I get done applying my gel, I go ahead and spritz my hair with the Garnier Fructis Shine Spray. Now I'm just going to tie my hair down with two scarves. First with my silk like scarf and then with a regular scarf. And just to prep my hair before I add on my drawstring ponytail. Scarf is off after about two hours. I am adding my Jomara Collection Drawstring Ponytail by Wonder. And it is called, it is in the style Soft Candy Bear and the color OP27. Um, this is a synthetic ponytail. It was $7.99. And I really love it. It kind of looks like blowout hair. So I went ahead and attached it to my little struggle bun and um, this is just before I added this gold thread. I put in the gold thread with a crochet needle. Now it was a little weird at first the way that I started putting it in. Um, once I started putting it in the way I was without cutting it I realized that I had to cut it and I eventually did. I matched it up and kind of chose a length that I felt comfortable with that I knew would go along the entire braid and I went ahead and cut it so that way everything could go smoothly and whatever's left over on that um, gold thread loop I added that to the base of the ponytail and wrapped it around. Once I got done wrapping the gold thread around the base of the drawstring, I realized that some of the black rubber band of the drawstring was showing, but I couldn't be bothered. I had to go. It was all good. It didn't really matter to me. It all turned out great in the end. I absolutely love how it turned out, and it was such a simple style. I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces.